I'm Amy, welcome to my channel, and thanks for joining me for a Harry Potter inspired craft. There's lots of Harry Potter wand tutorials out there, but this one's kind of special. Today I'm going to show you how to make the Elder Wand. You can find links for all the materials you will need for this project in the description below the video, both on YouTube and at craftymcfangirl.com. You will need something to bake your project on. I recommend a silicone mat and baking tray, a long chopstick or dowel rod, polymer clay of any color, clay tools, brown paint, white paint, Mod Podge hard coat, a paintbrush, and a fine-tipped black marker. Start with an image of the Elder Wand to work from. I'm working on a silicon mat on top of a baking tray. This way I can move my project right into the oven without having to transfer it. I'm using a long chopstick for this project. If you don't have a long chopstick, you can put two shorter sticks together. You can also use a dowel rod or whatever you have at home that's the right size. Don't use plastic. Whatever you use as the base of your wand will have to survive being baked in the oven. Because we're going to paint the wand, you can use any color of polymer clay you want. I had some leftover yellow clay from another craft. Condition and soften your clay and separate it into eight sections of varying sizes. Form six bulbs on the chopstick, from small to large. Use your picture reference to get the general size, shape, and spacing correct. Then use the seventh piece of clay to connect the two bulbs on the end. The next step is to use your clay tools to make indentations in the clay. Use the back of a paintbrush or any tools you have on hand to push small, irregular circles into the clay. The final step before baking is to use the eighth piece of clay to create the end piece of the wand. Form a round triangle shape with a slightly concave top. Then attach this piece to a paintbrush handle. This will create a space for the chopstick to attach and make it easier to add the pattern. Use a clay tool to make six or seven vertical indentations in the end cap. Then carefully remove it and apply it to the wand. Connect the clay to the wand using a smoothing tool, and your wand is ready to bake. Bake according to the instructions on your clay package. Baking time and temperature will vary by clay brand and the size of your project. Once your wand is baked and completely cooled, it's time to paint the entire thing with dark brown paint. I used burnt umber. It may take two or three coats of paint to get opaque coverage, depending on the color of the polymer clay you used. Once your wand is painted and completely dry, it's time to add the white portion. Paint a white band between the fourth and fifth nodes of the wand. Let the white paint dry completely before continuing. When the white paint is dry, it's time to add the magical markings. You can find a diagram of the markings online for reference. Working slowly and carefully, freehand the pattern with a fine-tipped black marker. Once the pattern is done, the final step is to add a coat of Mod Podge hard coat to the entire wand. When the Mod Podge is completely dry, your Elder Wand is done. Now you have what is said to be the most powerful wand that has ever existed. 
Thanks so much for crafting with me today. If you enjoyed this project and you want to see what comes next, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you're interested in Harry Potter inspired jewelry, check out my other website, geekymcfangirl.com. I have lots of Harry Potter inspired designs to choose from. Thanks and I'll see you next time.